Happy Friday. We're here in front of the Stone Bridge in Johnstown and great thanks to Dustin Green from Top Dog Productions and Jaha who have been lighting the bridge in high school colors in honor of our region's high school seniors. And while our region has moved into the yellow phase, nursing homes and long-term care will continue to be under stringent restriction. So the maintenance crew at our Butis Park Manor constructed a chatterbox, giving residents now going on two plus months without in-person visits, a chance to visit safely with friends and family. Aircraft from the Pennsylvania National Guard conducted a flyover called Operation American Resolve on Tuesday, passing over overhead hospitals and healthcare facilities in our region. The mission was a salute and thank you to all healthcare workers, first responders, and other essential personnel in the fight against COVID-19. We're happy to report that JWF Industries has expanded to West Virginia, reopening a factory previously operated by a Louisiana company. JWF plans to use the new 80,000 square foot location for large scale manufacturing, including large aluminum plates. And congratulations to Concurrent Technology Corporation. CTC was recently awarded a $7.8 million contract to continue work providing energy and utilities support to the U.S. Marine Corps. I hope you've had a chance to check out the Community Foundation for the Allegheny's What's Your Wish campaign. It is a beautiful look at people's hopes and dreams for our community. Like many organizations, the Chamber has turned to virtual events for now, including this week a very informative town hall with Senator Wayne Langerholt and a fun Chamber mixer which gave us a chance to catch up with some lighter moments. Don't forget, if your business is going to reopen soon, the Chamber has a back to business toolkit with lots of great information. You can check that out at crchamber.com. Happy Friday. Good News Friday is brought to you by Wessel and Company.